with these arts and crafts table. Now, since we are still under uh, COVID rules here in Hawaii, uh, we just like you to be aware that as you leave your table and as you make your way to the bathrooms, or even to the bar, or even to the Polynesian Arts and Crafts table, at least take your mask with you and be mindful of everyone around you. So we thank you in advance for that. Good. On your table, I know you're diving into the poopoos that are on your table already. So we have three different types of chips. Uh, taro chips and two sweet potato chips, also with their own dip. Uh, we also have pipicala, which is a smoked style beef, and it comes with an apple, uh, I believe a pineapple chutney. So try that as well. And then also we have edamame, which is soybeans. So that is for your poo-poos. And then of course, as we uh, continue with our show, we'll get into what will be on your menu for dinner tonight. But in the meantime, you get to enjoy some more Hawaiian music or Polynesian style music with our Tiati Serenaders and our beautiful and handsome hula dancers. So put your hands together once again for our Tiati Serenaders. Oh, 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 
mine. Huh? The guys are right there. Spicy side dog.
Allahu, we take you once again to our traditional Hawaiian Mele and do for you a song entitled Waikiki Hula. Yeah,
Nators. All right. So I know majority of everyone is has made their way into the Luau area. So we still have a few people getting their lays, and then they will find their seats. So uh, once again, I'm gonna just mention a few things I did earlier. Restrooms to the left of the tower, right behind us. Uh, it opens up to the men's and the women's restroom. We have our bar straight behind us, right next to the plumeria tree. We have our Polynesian arts and crafts table there under the coconut trees with the bright lights there. So please be sure to go, go check them out. At this point, we want everybody to stand up. We're gonna we're gonna warm up a little bit for this luau. Oh God. So we want everybody to stand up. We have to. Put the chips down. Leave the chips there. Come on, stand up with us. We have to. I don't wanna. So we're gonna tell the story of all of us going to a, a luau that used to happen down on the North Shore in La Ye. And this was during the 50s and 60s. We have to. They're called the Luki Lau. And everybody who attended this luau would first go to La Ye Bay where they had a net set up within the bay. So all of those that attended would help to pull or to hooky this net into shore. That was their way of participating within our Hawaiian culture. So nowadays we don't do that, but we do continue to tell the story by way of this hula. So it's a very, very simple form of the hula. And all you have to know is two different steps and then the hand motions as well, which we're, you're just going to follow our dancers. So it should be really, really easy. The first step is called the kaholo. Kaholo is two steps to your right and then two steps to your left and you kind of just repeat this throughout the entire hula in the middle of the hula we're going to change the move to what is called the ami this is where our hips go round and round like so and then there's a double time to that ami which is called ami kuku i'm not going to show it off for you because i just can't do it our dancers will do it for you though so besides that the hand motions in hula the hands always tell the story so our hands depict uh, the ocean, the beautiful day, the food that we're eating, the fish, also within the ocean, all by way of our hands. So let's put our hands on our hips, please. We're going to practice the kaholo first. Going to your right, okay? I'll count us in. And five, six, seven, and one. Two, back the other way. One and two. To your right. To the left. So ladies, you can go ahead and sway your hips. Just like our girls are swaying. For the men, you don't need to sway your hips. It's mainly just for the girls. If you want to, have at it. Okay, so that's the kaholo. I'm gonna strut my way back here. And we're all gonna do this hula together. So we're gonna go two more times with this vamp. So get ready with the hand motions, okay? So one more time, one more time. Get ready, and here we go. Oh, we're going to a hula, to a hula, a hula, a hula. Everybody loves a hula. Where the love now is a go go at the big one. Yourself. <laughs> this is the sound of the pukani or the conch shell. 
it always no. <laughs> it always uh, brings attention to a very special event, and especially at our luas here. This is uh, Kalua Pua or Kalua Pig or Pua Kalua, and it is not the traditional way of cooking our meats within an imor underground oven. So traditionally, we would dig a pit about three feet deep, and depends on how much uh, we are putting into that imu, that will determine the dimensions of the imu. We put our fire wood into the, the pit, also river stones, because the river stones retain a lot of heat. Once it's hot enough, we flatten everything out. Some of those stones will go into the cavity of the pig to cook from the inside out. We would lay down banana stumps because it retains a lot of water, so the, the meat, in essence, steams uh, while it's cooking. Lay down the banana stumps, the meat goes on top of that. You cover it with the banana leaves and tea leaves. Make sure that it's nice and... and uh, Cover it up really good so none of the steam can come out. Eight to ten hours later, you come back and the, the pig and everything else that's in the emu is done and it's phenomenal. So, this is our Kalua Pua. Please put your hands together for our gentlemen. They're gonna parade the Pua right down the center here. Get ready with your cameras. So, we still love to cook within the emu. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. As well. Since we're coming up on Thanksgiving now, there are community emu that are made really big so that depending on uh, how big or how many people are going to bring their turkeys, sometimes we can do 300 to 500 turkeys within an emu. So those things are huge and it's always fun because the whole community gets involved. So that is our traditional way of cooking our meats here. Uh, Along with the Kalua pig, on your menu tonight, you'll have fresh island caught fish, also a rotisserie style chicken, which is called huli huli chicken. You have uh, one starch, I guess, to start it off with. I